What is respiration? Fermentation and anaerobic crap cycle and anaerobic respiration. I know you don't get it. That is why we made this video to help you guys out. Yes. Partly because it was our homework, but yeah. either way, it will help you. We still don't get it, but we hope you get it, cause hey. it's super awesome. Okay. It all starts with sugar, it breaks apart and produces too high energy electrons. They get captured by FADH. Later, the half sugar, also known as pyruvate, got turned into acetyl-CoA, and it goes to the Krebs cycle. It poops out CO2, ATP, NADH, and FADH. NADH and FADH, also known as NAD and FAD. FAD goes to ETC and gives it high energy electrons. Then the ETC moves hydrogen from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Then low energy electrons come out and combine with one oxygen and two hydrogen ions and become water. Aerobic respiration, that's aerobic respiration. In case you're wondering, that is aerobic respiration. What if there's only other axes to take the low energy electrons? It will be called an aerobic respiration. Remember, aerobic respiration has oxygen, but anaerobic only has other acids to take the low energy electrons. Then ATP synthase takes over and moves hydrogen from the intermembrane space to the matrix. It takes ADP and PI and makes ADP. Fermentation. What is fermentation? It's a really hard word, I know. Fermentation is when sugar breaks and produces high energy electrons captured by NAD+. And it becomes FADH. There's no oxygen, so it gives back the electrons to the sugar. Makes lactic acid. Alcohol fermentation What is that? I know you like beer You can't deny So you have to know how you make beer Because if there's ethanol all the sugar becomes alcohol And CO2 for no apparent reason I know you like beer I know you like beer So go and have some beer this was a very educational song and a video made by Julia and Lynn.